Oh, hello, hello, everybody. Hi, uh, the Kindness Corporate, member of the BioVentures team here. Today, I am doing something a bit new that I'm probably never going to do again. I'm doing one of those Bricklink load. What's it called again? The Bricklink junk supply. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know, just stuff I bought off Bricklink. Of course, here's the benefit. I'm not going to do a lot of these. Brick, Brick, Bricklink call, that was it. I might, I might sound a bit weird. I think I have a sore throat or something. But I'm not going to be doing many of these. For explicit reasons, such as the fact that I don't, usually don't have the money to do so. So, to make up for such, here's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going When I do show them, it's going to be a big one. And uh, here's a little bit of a showcase of some of the stuff I got. It's going to be a bit noisy on this stuff. Let's see, so, I got the comma. Or the guy, I don't know, I went, I'll be putting the shop up. Here's the thing, this guy, best shop I've seen. Just because, well, not for cheap prices, but for at least average prices. He sells stuff for basically the price that it should be going for. Not like too high, not too low. Problem is he's in Canada and he for some reason uses uh, American currency levels. Like current, he uses the American currency settings, so you got some weird prices that you got a bit confused about. Let's see, so I got one Vakama. Ooh, Vakama. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea what I want for these. They were like $7 each, so I was like, screw it, I want them. That was $7 in Canadian. Then I got Nuju. For once in my life, I actually have a Nuju. I have somebody other than Vakama. I'm not counting Splunk, who's part of Nakama's body, except the fact I didn't have anything else besides I was missing an arm. Yeah, so here's Nuju, Vakama, Vakama. Oh, he's gonna have fun with that, isn't he? Haha. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty nice. Five dollars for Vakama, eat seven dollars for Vakama each, and about actually was it five dollars per Vakama and seven dollars for Nuju? Something close to that. They weren't they were that much. It didn't go any higher than ten dollars at most. Yeah, it was pretty much worth it. Got these guys, hoping to get one of every hoping to get two of every type actually, so I can have an uh cracker and these guys, because that would be awesome. Let's see, other than that, let's see what else did I get. Ah, uh, I forgot to grab a character to put up there. Let's see. So, recently from that store, I also bought this guy a little while ago. Yep, you said that right. Mr. D uh, Makuta Teradox himself. Benefits are, I went in there a little while later, that's why I got this current one, and I saw some new sets. One of which, one of which was his enemy, Takanuva. <laughs> it was awesome. He was, Takanuva was about, I believe, 40, 50 bucks or so. He was pretty, he was worth it. I mean, you've got a ship. The problem with the ship is it's confusing as hell to me. I still can't tell. I have like one piece left over, but I still can't tell. It's one of those double black pins. I, I honestly cannot tell if I if it's an extra, if it's from something else, or if I literally just have no idea where it went. Yeah, his build is, let me just say this. For a build, nice concept, all that stuff. Oh my god, this thing was a nightmare to build at times because you continuously miss steps. You're like, did I do that right? And you're like, oh wait, no I didn't. You're like, oh wait, no, I really missed. You're like, oh wait. You go back in and you're like, what if all these extra pieces? And you're like, oh wait, that's why. And his body, oh my god. <laughs> oh, his body is a nightmare. Just look at these arms. You got little pterodacts in the back with his little stubby arms that don't actually bend fully, or like his weird legs and all that stuff. I mean, it's totally worth it to get these old sets. I love Takanova. He's literally my favorite character. For like a long time, he's what inspired myself, Maku, you can see back there. Little to not little, big Takan. I really gotta make him smaller eventually. <laughs> Soon got yeah, so here's Takanova. Got his body and best part are, best part is, I had no idea this was actually part of his set. I thought this was some promotional thing, but ta-da. Glitter mask. I had no idea this thing came with him until I saw his thing. Until I uh, saw I uh, saw his, uh, I saw the listing for it. It said all three masks. I was like, three masks? Am I missing one? Goes looks. I'm like, oh my god. I now have this glitter mask for a lot cheaper than it would be to buy the mask. Well, no, that's a lie. The mask itself was like maybe 15, 20 bucks. So I spent an extra ten dollars to get tacked into the way. Whatever. I have the glitter mask. And his golden mask, which I had no idea was actually one of those plus actual pieces. Huh. Pretty fun. I now have like, I now have one of every type of Takanuva mask. The glitter, the gold, the silver from the, the old silver, new silver, who I've mainly been using on like Takan's faces for the black. 
So that's pretty nice. Got Takanuva, got Makuta in the back. Got his ship thing, which is honestly such a confusing build. I mean, this thing is awesome, but parts of it are kind of weird. Like these, like these tubes. I honestly still cannot tell if I put the right tubes in the right places because it really does not specify. And uh, I don't know, it's pretty fun. These pieces are loose. This thing opens up all the time. This part's very easy to mess with, which is a bit unfortunate. So, uh, I mean, other than some weird looseness that I really feel shouldn't have been out. Oh, the gear, you gotta be careful with the gearbox. You screw this thing up, it's gonna start popping apart for some reason. But other than that, like just some small looseness bits for something this old, for like one of the original sets, this is awesome. Still, this is not something I can really complain about. Like, other than those things, like, compared to just owning the set, it totally equals out any problems there might be. Ah, I see it opened. There we go. Just gonna move him off to the side, that thing off to the side right now, put a little mask with it. Oh, that's the other stuff I got. I got two masks. I got a golden, I got an orange this thing. Nah, for reasons potentially related to some other series, if I can get the parts to make the Zed character, because I actually really like the concept of mocks and all that stuff, for how it works. And, a silver Akaku. Why I may have done this, you may be asking? Not for any special character, if that's what you're wondering. More or less, because I required one for this guy. And yes, he is missing his ball joint. I now finally at least have some mask for Kolpaka. Because I have literally never owned one of his masks. There, there. there we go. Now I got my grumpy little, uh, got, uh, got the grump of the team. He finally has a mask on his face. Problem is it's silver, not white. Gotta get the white one eventually. Eventually. Yeah, so there we go. Got this guy. Finally have a mask for him. He's gonna be that one, if I ever animate before I get that mask, he's gonna be that one guy. He's gonna be the one toe with the wrong mask. And none of them have ball joints. For reasons concerning other mocks and the lack of the lack thereof of those types of pieces I have. So let's see, current goals. Buy a one white mask, buy a white Akaku, and buy a bunch of ball joints, because I really need to replace those. Let's see, so I got my white Akaku, got that thing in blah, blah, blah. Let's see, what else do I have to show you? Oh, this. <laughs> okay, so this guy is not from the Brick Link. This one I found at the thrift store. Hint, very good place to find a bunch of Bionicles. That's where I found a Puku, full Puku in there once. At a value village. Very good place to usually get, it used to be at least. There's not a lot more now since Bionicles have been not exactly dying out, but since the old ones are now fairly old. But yeah, I can usually find, like you can find a good portion of stuff. I have like, basically all my stuff comes from value village. Yeah, so I got a Krekka recently. And when I was going through, I was like, hmm, what else can I get? Cause I just finished up the order. Just wanted to see what else. I had a little bit of money left over that I could spend. I was like, oh, what can I get? What should I get? And then I saw, because here's the thing. These guys aren't all the order. Tech, especially not Takanuva, just Takanuva and Makuta. Makuta came earlier, so he's not counting for this one. Oh yeah, I got some other things I'm gonna show. I got, I found a Nidhiki, who is, this guy is a literal monster, build wise it, It's, I, I, I mean, it's amazing for like a concept for like little spider body, but his legs are so short compared to the rest of his body, and it's so weird. I mean, the claws, the little face, the, it just opened back to back here for some reason. Kind of interesting. A lot of technic areas, so that's pretty impressive, but it's also like, what is going on? And then, oh, the legs. Oh, the legs. His body, when you're trying to make it, wiggles around so much at the beginning. I mean, it's awesome I have him, but... Because, like, he was 20 bucks. 20 bucks for Nidhiki and the other set that I'm going to show. So it was a 30 actually, going by the American to Canadian price, whatever the heck it is. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty fun. He's got some weird Technic areas. I mean, at that time point, I'm, I'm fairly certain when they were making these guys, they were going, like, all crazy. Make support Technic, make it super uh, noticed and all that stuff or something like that. So that, that might have been one of the reasons behind it. I have no idea. Why, why does this not turn? Oh, and then there's the, this is just weird. I don't understand the concept behind this piece right here. Why does his chest need to turn? Look at that. Yeah, it's weird. 
So I, I don't, I guess they were going like kind of technic crazy. Maybe like there was something going on there back then they was trying to support it. I, I really don't know the time. So they got some weird technic. And then, got this guy. Got, I got the Eng, I got the Grumpy Bird. I'm not even joking. This this thing is a mon. <laughs> it's so oh, it's 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 not a very good balance for this. Thing. I mean, it's amazing to have Doom and his bird, but oh my god, the balance on this thing is monstrous. You you got to be careful because the wing, the t upper torso, is so imbalanced for it. And then ah, see now you got his crazy technic wings, and I'm not even joking when I say look at him. He has angry eyebrows. Why did they give it angry eyebrows? It, it, it's hilarious to look at. He's like, I'm an angry bird. Oh my. Yeah, oh look, the original Grumpy Bird. Angry Bird. I don't know what the game is called. Dang it. Yeah, so you got a little Doom up here with his chest plate, which he literally actually doesn't hook into. You just have to kind of rest him in there and hope for the best. So that's a bit odd. But I mean, like, uh, so it's pretty nice, even if the bird has really weird wing arms that don't fully make sense, kind of. I don't know. I don't know, pretty nice. It's huge. It's like the biggest one out of all of these guys for some reason. Does it extend it to Can's height? Why is this the same level as Takan, who is like... Takan is literally taller than Titan Takanova, and this thing stands around his... Why? Okay, that ju that's just weird. But yeah, so you see, got all three of these guys, and then finally, that's amazing. They were all 20 bucks for these guys. Probably like I think about ten to twelve dollars for him because he came over from a thrift store, so that was awesome. Let's see, yeah, so let's see. About forty, fifty for him, uh forty, fifty for him, five dollar, five dollar, seven dollar for those. For the uh the Metro and here's where it gets good. Here's where it gets really good. Yeah, you say this right. I got this guy. I got a Vison with his cape for once in life. It's so hard to find these guys on Bricklink. Because it's like, oh, what's that? You want the cape? Oh, sorry. He doesn't come with his cape because I want to keep the cape. So I got a Vison with his cape. Now, I guess you guys are wondering, where's, uh, where's Fenrak? Well, that'll come in a little bit. But yeah, best part about him, 70 bucks for this thing. And apparently he has more. Crystal has more in stock, according to what he told me. So that means I would recommend checking back. I will show you the link in the description, all that stuff. And it, w it is amazing that he has more, because he bought like a thousand USD. That's like a couple, I don't know how much that is actually in American. But he bought about a thousand USD worth of Bionicle sets to get all of these things. And I got, got finally got this guy. He's amazing to look at. It's like, I'm a... Ah. So I never noticed this thing was brown. I would have sworn this piece would have been red, because, you know, it goes with... I don't know why. But hey, here's a benefit for a later thing. I actually uh, had a loose piece that I used to fix this up, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm going to have fun voicing this one. Oh, much fun. So let's see, so I'm just going to move them off screen for a minute. And you know, I'm just going to show the heads of the next guys for uh, very good reasons. Axon and Brutaka. And as I can guess here, I can bet that you're kind of wondering, you're like, why only the heads when you have everybody else made? Well, let's just say... I feel you'll recognize it once I put this, well, you'll get the idea once I change his arm out a little bit. That's right, I'm making the Cardass Dragon. But as you can see, I've given him a little bit of a change when it comes to his Staff of Fusion. I have always preferred the older one, along with, I believe it was the Shadowed one, to put in his review where we talked about how it's kind of weird how they changed it. So I decided to change it back and put a little bit of my own concepts into this design. <laughs> uh, oh dear, wait, I'll have to be right back. Taking a small break, something's come up. So yeah, I had to take a small break there, sorry about that, and all that. But as you can note, I'm going to be making some changes to my Cardass Dragon. I feel I want Vizon as perfect as possible. From his original staff to his proper unwiggly build. I just needed to grab some extra pieces for that. So, as I also noted from his review, he talked about how this head got a little bit forced, but I realized something kind of interesting. When you took those two pieces that required such forcing, which I'm quite amazed Lego themselves didn't notice, which is actually really quite amazing because uh, it was Pretty, uh, visible, as it was kind of noticeable. 
I guess I can understand why they were going for it. You know, they wanted the best unwobbly connection, undisconnectable. They didn't want it to fall apart while playing with it. But really, um, going by the fact the head literally keeps these uh, these two pieces in place, you, you really don't have to worry about it falling out ever. It, it's literally not possible, so I don't know why they didn't just flip it. But hey, it's an oversight they didn't notice. So, uh, as I realized, come back here, you little... Yeah, and yes, I'm shuffling through the bags of parts to grab the piece that I'm trying to show because I didn't have it prepped for some stupid reason. There we go. You take this piece. This is the piece that you're supposed to put in there. You're supposed to pop it in like this for some reason. And when you do that, it puts force on this because it, it, it literally just lines up like that. But when you do it this way, this part sticks out. So I'm like, why don't you just flip it over and stick it through and it's instantaneous. There's nothing going on. Of course, I took it a step farther, because I remembered about those G2 parts. I had a couple loose ones, and spe specifically that piece. You see in there? That's right, that's the axle stopper thingamajigger, just a little smoother out. So I took two of these, flipped them over, even tighter connection, and stuck that in the middle. Perfection! There is now no stress on at, on Fenrax's head. I love this thing's mouth. This is gorgeous for a build. This is... This is so smooth. But yeah, so as you can see, we fixed up some of that stuff, and guess what this and that's what the main part of this video is gonna be. I will be building Fenrack. Don't worry, there's not gonna be a lot of talking in this video. There's I'm not gonna record the entire thing because that'll be like an hour-long process. Well, I mean I will be recording it, but for the most part, I'm gonna be speeding through the video. I'm just gonna go boop boop. I'm gonna be through you know i'll stop every now and again whenever it comes down to it like i need like i'm talking about something important but for the most part i'll be quiet because i tend to focus in on what i'm doing let's see so i'm gonna grab the parts one sack just gonna pour them out here because why not all on my little white thing i'm a jigger my little platform i don't know what i'm singing so, yeah, so I'll just be skimming through this, just going super fast to finish it all up and, you know, show you the completed process, the completed object. Oh, yeah, that's right. Where did I put you my little piece? Ah, uh, yeah, I had a loose piece, so I'm like, okay, let's just switch out the brown one for a proper colored red piece. Ta-da! Nothing going wrong here. So now, I'm gonna get quiet for a little bit, you know, all that stuff, start speeding through. If I get something poor in my head, I'll talk it out and all that stuff. But, for the most part, this will be quiet, in the terms of I'm gonna be playing music over this, of course, because that'll be a while that I'm gonna be screwing around, building stuff. And then I'll be talking to the end. Along with that, I got a little bit of a bonus connected to some of the characters you've seen. I figured, why make only one Dragonic being of sorts? Even if this one isn't that Dragonic, it's an absolute monster in terms of build. So, here we are, go quiet and three, two, one, ba ba da.
Well, this is a bit odd. Look at that. What is going on here? Why did they put a double piece in the middle of that? Bit odd. Bit odd. I'm gonna have to take a break just to point that out. Just weird. It's so off. It, I mean, it looks amazing, sure, but it's just why? Oh, you can see the camera in that. Hey, that's pretty nice. Whatever. Hey, as you can see, going pretty well. Had to grab some extra pieces because, you know, I took the pieces for V's on and stuff. But hey, it's working pretty nicely. This is going to bug the crap out of me forever now. Oh dear. Well, I'll be shutting up now. Being right back in a moment. You know.
Well now, here's a bit of a problem. That's a problem with buying a brick link and pressed on. Rare chance you're gonna be missing a piece, which is usually just a uh, usually just one of these. Which is well that's for any brick link store usually when you get an unsealed package. Problem with Cresdon is miscolored pieces. I mean uh, wrong colored pieces. Instead of getting a bunch more of these, I got four of these and two of the black ones. So yeah, he's gonna be a bit discolored, which kinda sucks, but hey, at least I actually got the pieces, which is saying something. So problems with every store I guess. You have to worry about them. I'll be back. I'm just gonna be finishing up now. Gonna have to talk to him. Gonna have to tell him it's okay at least. Oh well. Eh, it still looks good.
Valent, this thing is amazing. It's huge, its neck is a bit loose, yes. I can agree with that opinion that many people have shown, or at least people who reviewed it. Bit too wobbly, but holy crap, this thing is gorgeous. It's gigantic. I'm fairly certain this thing outstands the can. Which, I mean, yeah, it definitely does. Going by its bill. Let's go get him out. Let's go grab him, actually. This thing is beyond huge. Does it outstand a can? Yep, stand that thing up straight, and it's gonna outstand this guy by a lot. Send that thing's head up, put that thing's head up and all that stuff. It's a can over here, here's this thing, and this thing's kinda hunched too. Here it is with its head up straight. Yeah, you can see that, you can see that. It's already outstanding him just by a head, its chest is at his head level. Whoa, this thing is amazing. It's just, I mean, here's what you have to realize for me. The Cardinus Dragon has always been what seemed like an unobtainable dream to myself. Dang it. To myself. I have, I've, when I first found out about this thing, I wanted it. I was like, holy crap, this is amazing. And I always just, I never believed I'd actually be able to get it, is the thing, because... It's this huge set. The set itself seems so expensive, and then all of a sudden, what happens? That brake link just screwing around. And I've wanted this thing for years. So I'm just, you know, I'm brickling, and I just find it. I find a way to get it. Sure, some pieces are a bit off color, which is a bit irritating, but it, it more than makes up for it just by having this. This amazing thing that I now can say is mine. And look, see? Red piece looks so much better. I mean, the tail is actually fairly stable if you screw around with it. The tail, um, I'm thinking in the shadow ones. Yeah, I'm, yeah, that's the shadow one. That's who I'm thinking about. That's who it was. What was going on with his was probably just like the actual piece was kind of loose. The head one though is very wobbly. It, it's not actually just the actual. This thing is the weight of this head is insane. One compared to the neck. So, I mean, it's just... This thing was an unobtainable dream that I never had any belief, perception, anything like that, that I would ever be able to get. Oh my god, just look at these little guys. These are like little T-Rex arms. Yeah, I, I, just, I just never saw myself being able to get this. So, the fact that I did is... I mean, this is overjoyous to myself. Sure, the entire order, if I ha if I had just bought in the guys needed for that, it would have been about a hundred, somewhere between a hundred and a hundred fifty, I think. But that's still amazing because I was willing to pay that because this this is just this is awesome. The Cardo Dragon is beyond worth it to pay mo uh, pay that amount for, Poss probably even more. I just love this mouth. Fenrak is going to be insane to make if I ever do that. And oh my god, I can just imagine the effort put into taking this apart. It's going to be insane. So yep, yeah, there we go. The brick, the Bricklink Hall. I have a Cardass Dragon. I have no clue where I'm going to put this either. It's so big. Also, a uh, little thing. I have no idea how to put these on on here, so I would have actually been showing him on its back, but it, there's no actual instructions for how to do that, which is irritating. So <laughs> Also, here's a little thing I thought of. With these on, things already gave him back his spear, I figured. Hey, why not give him back his other arm, too, with the shield? I don't know, does this look, does this look good? He's got a shield, the problem is it's a bit less poseable than his other one. I mean, he's still got a shield, which is pretty impressive. I mean, nifty. I don't know. It's pretty nice. He's got a shield and all that stuff, but then he tried to do it and he has to hold it down like that. I mean, it looks nice, but it loses a lot of its posability compared to... I just take this off. And take this piece over here. Stick this on here. Dang it. 
I don't exactly understand why. I mean, I understand why they gave him the shield thing so they used his arm in its neck. Hmm, that gives me an idea. I might want to switch out the piece and see if it works better with another one. I don't know. The neck piece could actually be totally stable and it's just uh, bad luck. Slash the, uh, oops. Yeah, here's it. Could just be bad luck with a combination of, uh, the, uh, the friction on the axle, not the axle, just the ball joint being a bit loose. So I don't know, I'll have to see. What's going on? So that's... Okay. Weird. Yeah, so a lot more posability. A lot more posability when you got the shield like that. Problem is, when you got the shield like that, then you lose out on an arm. I mean, I guess if you really wanted to be crazy, you could take it and stick it like this. What the heck does that even look like? It probably looks ugly. Actually, I don't know think about it. What does this thing look like when you stick that shield on? Hoo hoo hoo! Okay, that's kind of ugly already. Okay, very poseable. You got a hand, I guess. So, I mean, you can keep the shield if you want. Oh yeah, look, then you can angle it some more. I don't know, I guess, yeah, see, there's a couple shield alterations. I don't know, I'll see which one I like best. Maybe you guys could tell me if anybody comments on this. That'd be nice. So, uh, there we go. Bison and the Cardass Dragon. The two, the, uh, the gold, the cent- yeah, the centerpiece of this entire thing right here. The two, the unobtainable dream, yeah, just the unobtainable dream. Bison and the Cardass Dragon. Two things I've looked up to, slash wanted, for ages. So, uh, I, I guess now that I'm nearing the end and stuff, because, like, this is around the end, I figure I should talk about stop motion. I am so sorry about how long it takes. I'm lazy, to put it in the simplest way. Lazy, I get tired, and then I guess go, like, I don't want to do anything today. But I am trying. I am trying. I, I do have some stuff I should be able to get up in maybe... Maybe this, hopefully this month, maybe next month at the latest. I, I, I don't know. I'll see what happens. It's not going to be anything very story related, but I will, I will be getting something up. Also, remember how I was talking about a bit of surprise? This is what I was doing. I shut the camera off, as you guys will notice, with a little cut and all that stuff. And <laughs> this is what I did with it. This is what I did with the time. I bet that people are seeing this right now and they're going like, no. People have seen, people just have to get a hint of what they're looking at and they're all going, no, because once you see this color scheme, there's nothing else that fits it. And I can agree, this is an utter monstrosity I should not have made. What is this? It's so ugly. I can understand they didn't have a lot to work with because it was Technic. I mean, the head is nice. That's a nice head. You especially think there's a way to fit the Ultimate Doom Mask on that I don't actually know, and I can't do it because the Ultimate Doom Mask is on. Uh, it's Takan's... It's Takan's crotch plate, basically. Which is so... <laughs> a way to insult the mask, eh? And it, it's just ugly. The arms are... I, 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 I don't... The wings don't even bend in. They just flap. It, it, it's... There's no Technic function to that wing like the other one had. It's just... I don't understand what they were doing here. I can understand they wanted a big set, you know, showcase the Makuta hand. This is the worst way you could have done it if you ask me. I, the arms don't bend properly. They only bend in. A and look at this. What is... <laughs> I can understand they need to put some texture, some depth to it and all that stuff. But this is ugly. I don't get it. This, there's no function to this. It, 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 it bends inwards. Why? What is this? It would have made more sense to take the arms and reverse them. Like, do the thing that they did with the uh, Toa Haga. The, the special promo sets, those ones from the uh, from the Wave 2, G2, I don't know, V2. Was it V2? No, V. I guess it would be V3 if you don't count them, if you count the new as the V2. Chronicles, but yeah. This. 
is ugly. Oops. Oh, well, I know it would be before actually. This is an ugly monstrosity. White, green, black, silver, red, and green. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I don't want to take it apart though because it took me so long to build it. So yeah. I now have this monstrosity which is for some reason around the same height as the Cardass Dragon. I, I, it's so unreasonably tall for such a terrible, terrible thing. So, uh, it, it doesn't even have proper leg support. Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna have to do something stupid with this thing eventually. And, and get, get the Cardass Dragon over here. Oh, I love this mouth. So I'm gonna have to do some stuff with that. I'm gonna have to do some of that. Definitely gonna do some stuff with these on. Of course I am. <laughs> oh yes, he's going to be a fun character to voice and players. I'm going to have to think of some plans for this one. Especially once I can figure out how to put him back on the card ass dragon, which I still don't know. And hope this channel. So thank you all for watching. And you know all that stuff. You could have skipped ahead, I really don't care. Just this is the end of my Bricklink haul. I don't think I'm going to be doing another one of these, or if I do, it's not going to be for probably quite a long time. Now then, good night, my throat is killing me. Ow. Do you feel the